Welcome to the Stratsim management game. Today we'll take you through a spreadsheet so that you'll be able to know what to do on the technology page every time. Our goal is to take the guessing out of this page so that you can move on to bigger and better things within Stratsim management. So here we are trying to figure out the technology page. The technology page looks like this uh, for Stratsim management and we have to pick which of these boxes to do, if any. And I suggest that you pull up a spreadsheet and we're going to create a spreadsheet for the technology page. So for all the cash going out, uh, we are going to have that be a negative value and any cash in is going to be positive. Uh, we're going to have each year and we're really going to do a net present value calculation. So let's figure out first the cash for each year and for present value and yeah, have that in millions just like in Stratsim. We're going to have an estimate of the number of vehicles sold. We're going to need that to do our calculation and a savings per vehicle. And uh, it's going to be, of course, in dollars. So let's uh, broaden this out here. Cash, we've got present value, the sales estimate, and the savings per vehicle. Now, each year, you're going to calculate uh, in year zero, we're going to have some kind of um, cash outlay. So it's going to be the amount of money that we're going to spend on the technology. And that's going to be found right here. The cost to increase by one is uh, for interior styling, safety, and quality is going to be this amount right here. Whoa. Hey. Great. Now, we're going to have the cash be 1884. So that's going to be a negative value. And that means that every year after that, we have to account for for the cash in. So at the end of the first year, we're going to have this 205 right here. And that's going to be positive value. Now the sales estimate comes in, uh, you can see that in another video, uh, but it comes from decisions and marketing. And uh, in this case, we've got 405 and 50,000 sales, so that's individual vehicles. And technology reduces the cost to produce each one of those vehicles, and that's that's profit that goes into our, our uh, bank account. And so the savings per vehicle is the total cash, but we need to make that into a value that is going to line up. And the, the sales estimate is in thousands, so I have to multiply that by a thousand, and that uh, makes the savings per vehicle at 455 per vehicle. Now, that kind of number we need to make uh, going down the page because that's how much money we make from this specific technology investment of $1.884 billion, uh, we get that every year for the end of the years. That's why technology is best to be done right at the start of, of the game. And then we take that savings per vehicle and we need some kind of sales estimate going forward. Now, the industry will grow, so we need some kind of industry growth rate. And then we plan on taking some market share away from other companies. So we're going to say the uh, increase in market share. And these two values are going to be added together to get a total growth rate. Now, what should we be using for industry growth rate? Well, you can find that again on the market um, tab and you can see an estimate of your industry growth um, on another video that I won't be covering right now and we discovered that that's about 5% per year 
and then the increase in market share, we're going to say that we're going to take on about 2% of market share each year. And that gives me a sum of these two numbers with a growth rate of 7%. So our sales will go from 450 and it will go 7% more than that. So we're going to take the sales estimate from the previous year and multiply it by 1 plus the total growth rate and that will be a constant and that gives us a 481 that's an estimate up to what our sales will be and that will be just drag that down and that gives us the sales for all the different years and so that savings per vehicle will be applied to this number of sales and so we figure out what the sales estimate is and we multiply that by a thousand because it's in thousands and we multiply that by the savings per vehicle and that gives us the cash in millions so we need to make it into millions and that gives us in the first year we get 205 in the next year we get 219 and so on until the final year if you like this content, please like and subscribe because it'll let me know if you want more of this. And this total here is going to be uh, how much cash we have from this investment. So that includes the negative cash flow from the in investment. And it looks like that's a positive value. So it seems like that's a good investment. But we need to have some kind of time value of money because you can always take that money that 1.884 billion dollars and just pay down debt and at the barest minimum we would be able to have a discount rate and of whatever our debt is so right now uh, maybe our debt is six percent we can look that up on the uh, decisions tab uh, you can also look that up in the uh, company tab and see the condition of the the debt that's uh, that's there for the company so if we pay down debt we're getting a six percent interest so the economic value of this has to be discounted and how do you do a discount uh, uh, a present value calculation so the present value is the cash that's there and you divide that by one plus the discount rate and that has to be a constant raised to the power of whatever year you're in so for the first year of course that's you know wh whatever that cash was but the, for the next year it's going to modify that cash value so this is the present value of this future cash flow and so on you drag that down and you come to the net present value which is the sum of all individual present values per year and it looks like that's positive so since that's po positive or the NPV which is this number right here that will tell us whether or not we should be making this investment it is a good investment because it's a positive number thank you for visiting our channel Links in the description.